Hey, what's up, guys? Snooper is here. Um, you might be noticing that I have the same shirt on because as in the last video, that is because I recorded them on the same day. You know, if you have spare time to record videos, it'd be easier. You know, to record videos and then get them out. So, um, so in an earlier video, I discussed that I would like maybe to show you guys my some of my hobbies and i have a lot of hobbies so I, i'm just gonna put them in the whole video um uh, if i don't have enough time i might do a part two but i think i'm gonna be able to get it all on this one so um one thing i do is i like collecting foreign money and i like collecting like rocks and gems but right, um, i also like camping i'm going to show you guys some of that on a later video all right so um this is not a foreign money but this is a two dollar bill yeah it's pretty nice i got this from my dad from the tooth fairy when i was little but i've always kept it um this is a canadian dollar And then I have another Canadian dollar, but it is different. You see? Kind of different. Probably older. Let me see. Bank of Canada. Bank of Canada. One dollar. I think they were made at different dates. In the last video, I was holding that cactus, and I think I got some thing, thorns in my hands. So, um, so, I, this, when I, I like to go camping. And, um, this is a tool I sometimes use. Don't get scared, it's not a knife. I mean, it has a knife on it, but that's not the point. It's a spoon. A fork. So, and then, of course, we have to have our butter knife. It's not like I'm going to stab someone and kill them. It's a butter knife. All right. Not very sharp at all. Very nice. It cut your bread and, like, smear butter, whatever you need to do when you're camping. Deal with food. Wow, I can actually see this one. Okay, so, yeah, I, it's fun to use because, like, you use your own tools and you don't have to use some other, like, plastic or bring your own. You can just bring this tool and it does it all. Um, there's also a way to separate this. I'll figure it out. I'll put that aside and I'll continue with the video. Um, so, this is actually, um... A gaming token from a casino in Michigan. My my family on my dad's side lives in Michigan, and he went to the casino and he brought me back a token. Well, this is not foreign, but my dad got this made for me. He is in the military. Has that has another side, but I don't really want to take it out of the package. I'll do it anyway. Let's see, I hope it doesn't get anything on it. Let's open this up. On the other side, this. This is for, this is like a merit or whatever. My dad went to Iraq when I was a baby, so he's still in the military, so that's pretty cool. I think my mom might be coming home. Okay, so, um, and then this is a 50, 50 euro cent. Okay, let's see. You holding it right? And then on the back, we have the date. This is from 2002. Not focusing, but 
has like a, a harp. And then I have this flattened penny and it has a bat from it. It's from the, this is from, yeah, the Maryland Zoo. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Of course, I have a regular penny. This is some kind of Korean or like Chinese something money. I don't actually know what this is. It's in another language and I can't read it. And um, I have a lot more like that, which I'm not very sure what they are. Oh, this is um, this is a putt putt token. This is another Rep Republica Filipinas. This is from the Philippines. This is in 2001. Let's read this. Banco Central NG Philippines. So that's pretty cool. And this coin is a coin I got from D Washington, D.C. when I went on a trip in fifth grade. Uh, it's a star-spangled banner and it has the old ripped up flag and it says the Smithsonian Institution on the back. I got it for like 50 cents. And then this is like some North Korean money or something can't even read it but if you can see it has like a palace right there and then it has some some weird guy right right there so yeah I shared that and I also have more so I shared with you the money, but now it's time to share with you my massive rock collection. But I have it in this safe right here. Right, the, these are like some fossil tools. This is a little mirror. This is a little brush. This is, um... Actually, I don't really know what this is. This is like a little poke thing. And uh, it's a whistle, yeah. tweezers, yeah, so that's on a little keychain. And if you know what a geode is, it's really cool, it's a little rock you get and you smash it open here. That's, that's my geode, I got this piece. Um, this piece, maybe this was all together, um, this piece, this piece, this piece, and there's a bunch of little pieces that broke off during the years, but I have a little small piece like that. Uh, got this beautiful piece right there, and this little beautiful piece right there. Oh, and then I have one more, actually. Surprisingly, this is a nice, beautiful piece. So I'm going to put those back, and I'm going to move on to the next thing I have in here. I also might have some seashells in here from earlier years. This is another tool. It has a compass right here is a mirror and then right here it's other other little mirrors down here are tiny little mirrors and if you go like this it magnifies I can see my camera so that's pretty cool And then we got this big bag, bad boy of seashells. Here, I'll show a few. I'll show them all. We got this one. And this nice beauty. This is a nice seashell. I think I remember finding some of these. 
These are some little purple crystals, which I don't think I found those. I think I received them. Like I traded crystals with somebody in fourth grade for some reason. Like kids would like they all had little crystals like this, and like we would trade them and kind of stuff. This one's like kind of marbly little shell. And I traded a few off in my fourth grade days. And I've still kept them throughout the years. It's beautiful how nature creates these. This is actually pretty cool. It's a piece of coal. My camera froze up a little bit. I don't know why. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. Maybe it's on my end. Just kind of drop it in the pile. My brother's grandmother got me some of these. And they're very pretty because they live in North Carolina. So the beaches there are pretty nice. So I'm pretty sure every crystal is a good chance that it was a fossil. Like this is a snail. This one is a beautiful one. I actually forgot that some of these were in there. Oh, this is another piece of a reef. I don't know where they found some of these. Oh, I think my mom's home. She's knocking, but I'll have to. Hey mom, I'm doing a YouTube video. <laughs> Sorry. Just showing you guys. So I'm just showing you guys all the different little rocks and shells I have, like all these beautiful little ones. Like, I was kind of showing you guys fast some of them. Got that. And actually, I have a bunch more in here. I'm going to make a part two in the future, alright? So I'll see you guys in the next one.